From the last video, you've learned how to uh, work with your thumbnail index. And today I'll show you how to make it even more interactive. So uh, in the previous video, we applied filters to each image. But in this video, we will be changing the image to something else. Uh, all these images you uh, can uh, like select on the redefine manually because there will be no automatization. I tried to create such a function so you won't have to uh, do all these things manually to write each address. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of difficult and uh, in some cases uh, it didn't work for cargo particularly. So that's why I'm, I'm suggesting you a little bit uh, longer solution, but yet working and yeah, it's like, I think it's just more secure. So what do we do? Uh, we are replacing an image on hover with any other image which is located on your website. Let's say you have like a project and you have several images, you use the first image as a preview and you will be able to use any other image, you will be able to select it yourself and make it shown on hover. So that's how you can make your thumbnails uh, a little bit more interactive. Let's start. So if you check my previous video, you will learn how thumbnail index work and how to control it, like layout or uh, how we uh, work with thumbnail index in general. But just in short, we have index page, which is our homepage. And if you go to the code view, we will see that this page is completely empty. So that's why we cannot use custom classes for thumbnail index and we will be working with CSS only. But before we start, uh, let me show you how to copy uh, URLs for your second images. So let's say this is a project and this is a previous like preview image and this is like it's going to be the second image. It's pretty easy. You just need to click on it and copy image address or you can open image in new tab and copy this address from uh, yeah address field. So for each image of for all elements uh, you would need to have this link. So yeah this is slightly annoying because you would have to add it manually but once again this is at least it's a secure way how to create this effect. So let's start. Okay, uh, first of all, we need to create this empty element for each card, which will go above of um, our image. So uh, the first selector is going to be um, like that data view equals some nail. Okay. So the second part is dot thumb image and the third class before. Yeah, check your punctuation, check your syntax every time because uh, in most cases when people text me to ask uh, why something is not working, yeah, in most cases they just uh, miss some uh, symbols or yeah, just be careful with that. And also you can check your code if uh, it's correct. Uh, yeah, beneath this video, uh, I'll post a code validator. So yeah, you will be able to check it yourself too. Okay, uh, what do we need to say here? Content, empty, um, yeah, something like that. Width, 100%, height, 100%, that's how we cover the whole image position absolute top zero pixels left zero pixels okay and maybe the last thing is background size mm, let me find it here yeah this one and the value is going to be cover Okay, this part is ready. This element is created. The second part is to create, uh, like fill it with an image for each particular card. We need to say uh, data ID mm -hmm. data ID equals. Uh, here's going to be the number, but I'm going to keep it empty by now. I'll show you how to get this number a little bit later. So next part of selector, 
uh, you can copy actually this line and paste it here and uh, here be between this sum image and uh, before you need to add one more thing hover be careful check your syntaxes once again so uh, okay this thing is ready and here you need to choose background image url open braces and inside uh, you need to use quotes and uh, here you're gonna paste your url uh, i have a list of urls so i'm gonna copy the value but I told you how to copy it. You just cop can copy it directly from your image. And check the link. If you see something different from this structure, so it starts with HTTPS, then you, you see that uh, freight.cargo site W1000, blah, blah, blah. And this is like an address of your image, .gpg or any other like a file type that you used. Uh, so check it. If it looks somehow different, please check it again, because this is like an only one way how it should look. So this is the first line. And the second line is going to be uh, background position. Background position. I'm going to use center center. I'll tell you uh, how it works and why do we need it a little bit later. Let's uh, deal with this ID first. So. How can I get the ID of my first image? First of all, my first preview is uh, for goes for this page. This is my page where I used this thumbnail, and uh, yeah, you can check its a ID right here. Just copy it, not uh, with the home page, but directly the pages which is shown here. So let's go back, and you just need to paste it here. And now when you hover over the first image, you will see the image which you just paste here. So um, you can do the same for all images, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna copy these parts, but they are very similar. Like, look, they all have the same structure, but the different parts are this ID and uh, this link. So basically that's how you can uh, call each particular page or like each particular thumb and uh, yeah, to uh, define another image, like which one you want to choose. It might be any image that you used on your website, uh, not depending on where it's placed. And okay, let's go back to background position. Right now I have a ratio of all my images are the same, but let's say if something is getting cut, so what do we do? Uh, you can change these values, uh, center, center, to something else. Let's say uh, top or bottom or uh, left and right. So that's how you can also place this image inside of this box. So if it's getting cut, like let's say um, this is just gonna be like a long image and you need to place it somewhere uh, as, like not in the center. So you can check it and you will find the link below this video about this background position property. So yeah, that's how you can also uh, define this placement. But if you don't need to change it, if the value center center is okay for you, you just can remove this line, it's not necessary. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was easy to follow and let me know what else I should create for thumbnail index. Goodbye.